Hey guys, it's George here from DJG Sounds, and today I'm going to be showing you this Virtual DJ Pro Full 7.1. I got Virtual DJ with this, but it was only the limited edition version. It wasn't giving me the full capabilities of what I can do now. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a run through, show you what I can do with the full version and just an outline of Virtual DJ itself for those of you who haven't seen it before. For example, those of you who are using Tractor and Serato, or perhaps some just free software like Mix with two X's. So let's take a look at it on my iPod Touch, as we always do. So here we are, Virtual DJ Pro Full. Let's take a good look at it. This is a bit distant. I've got that in front of me. Okay, so you get four decks, unlike you get two with the Ergo, with its own custom skin. But what I can do is if I went into config, which is up here, this cup pops up, I move along, go into skins. I've got a wide range of skins in there. I've got all the Virtual DJ 7 skins, if we zoom in a little bit. Pioneer DJ Ergo skins. Virtual DJ 5 for those of you who like that design. Not my pref not my preference. Not my personal preference anyway. What I can do is move the big beat grid around on this one. So it's really nice to be able to press shift and move the beat grid around a little bit. It's just a really nice having that capability. It makes you feel really good so you can actually mix properly. Even though for the DJs out there who are watching this, don't mix with your eyes, mix with your ears. What else? Got net search, so I can search on the internet to find songs that I like. Where is that? There it is, net search. Obviously I've got the basic iTunes and stuff. What have I got over here? I've got my playlist, which means I can finally do my auto mix if really need be, because I, I have to go somewhere during the gig. What else can you do with Virtual DJ? It's got loads of effects. Remember that VDJ is not just a um, audio DJ mixing software, it's also a video mixing software. So if I went into video, got all of that to do with videos. It's really good for scratching, it's got all your tempo change, your hot cues. You can DJ with this without any controllers. It's really useful, that's how I started out. So it's got your EQ, you can put up to you can have loads of decks on it, really. You can get loads of effects. Just go to the Virtual DJ website. The link will be in the description of the Virtual DJ website. You can sync your music. And it's all really just really basically useful. Comes with all the album artwork, even though it's not doing that at the moment because I've just transferred over to all my music to an external hard drive because I was running out of room on my MacBook. So it hasn't really synced in yet. But that's life. You can... I think I've covered most things, to be honest. Oh yeah, what else? Virtual DJ has a remote that you can buy off the App Store for iOS, and I believe it's on Android as well, so you can run it through there if need be. If you want to go around, but you still need to mix, if you want to go around and speak to people. That's only available with the Pro version. What else is there? If I go into Configure, it's got Internet, Performance, Browser, Info... I think I've covered everything. This is the one for Mac, by the way, if you haven't guessed. Already by the traffic lights, I believe I have covered everything I need to do. Oh, what else? You can download plugins if you like, like extra effects and stuff like that. And reset to factory settings. It's all really useful, really easy to use, nice and simple. So I'm going to do a final review of this on in the next clip. So see you then. So there you go. That's my review on. Virtual DJ, as you can see what's coming up on my MacBook at the moment is I'm going to download some extra effects for it because I want to have a little play around. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this helps all of you DJs out there. JL DJ, if you're watching this, I know you've been wanting to um, upgrade for a bit. I, I do recommend it. If you have any money to spare around in your budget at the moment, use it on this because I know you mentioned wanting to use all of your controllers at once. I'm pretty sure this gives you the, that capability. And that's what you told me on YouTube anyway. <coughs> so yeah, if you're looking into getting that, just 
it, it, I mean, it was really cheap, I'm guessing. Well, it was if you had an Ergo. I know you had a mixed track. See if you can get it cheaper through your VMS 4.1. Whatever serial code you've got, which makes it the cheapest, use that, really. That's a little message to you. Message to everyone else, get Virtual DJ. If you can't handle Tractor or Serato, Virtual DJ is the way to go because it's really easy. It's really good for beginners, but it's also really good for the price. So that's all I can really give you on Virtual DJ. There's no downsides to it, really, except for the fact that it can be a little bit glitchy from time to time, but that hasn't happened very often. If you have any um, good points or bad points to make about Virtual DJ, please post it as a video response or put some comments in the video. I'd really appreciate your um, thoughts and ideas on this topic. Um, and that's it from me. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.